my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do another back to school video because you all seem to be liking my previous video that was on back to school hairstyles. The purpose of this video is for you to see that you don't really have to spend a lot of money to get ready for school. So I went to a couple of drugstores and picked up some makeup for this video that was really affordable and cost less than $10 each. I do shout outs at the end of each video, so if you want to win a shout out, make sure you go and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the bell and go to the comments and say done and maybe you will be picked on my next video. Now I'm going to be doing my makeup with you and also I'll be showing you all the products along with their prices. So I'm going to start off by putting some Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser on my face. So now I'm going to just squeeze it out and put it on my T-zone. And now my next step is going to be foundation. So for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and for Beauty Blender, I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Get some foundation on the back of my hand and start applying it to my face. So after I'm done putting foundation all over my face, I'm going to go with the Maybelline concealer. So I'm going to be putting this concealer only under my eyes. Twist, twist, twist. Did it come out? Oh, it came out. It's coming out. I'm going to be making triangles under my eyes. And I'm gonna blend that with my beauty blender. Ooh, I really like this concealer. It reminds me of my favorite concealer that I always use, the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. It's the same exact one. But it's a drugstore concealer, and it's way cheaper. And now as I'm done putting on my concealer, I'm gonna set my whole face with some powder. So the powder that I'm gonna be using to set my whole face is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I think I'm using everything Maybelline today for the first steps, but hopefully it's gonna change later. <laughs> Under my eyes, my lids first, because I crease really fast. Then the rest of my face as well. So for the bronzer today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer, and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques brush that is multitask brush. Got some bronzer on my brush, and I'm just gonna go here. I basically like don't even care where the bronzer goes. And now I'm done with the bronzer. So for the next step, what I'm gonna do is my blush. So for the blush, I'm using the Milani blush in T Rose and I'm applying it with the angled brush from e.l.f. I always smile and put it right on the apples of my cheeks. Ooh, I love the color. It's just so soft and so pretty. <laughs> so for the highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Stick Highlighter. I really like this highlighter because it gives a really nice glow to your face and it's not too intense and it's really, really soft and it's basically for every single day. I'm gonna be applying it on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and over here as well, on my cheekbones. Actually, I'm going to be putting some under my brow as well. 
And now as I'm done putting highlighter where I wanted it to be, I'm going to be blending it with my finger. And if the highlighter looks too intense, I'm gonna go back with the Beauty Blender and just press the foundation that is left on the Beauty Blender just to like blend the highlighter out even more. Just like that. So the next step is eyeshadows. But I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy on my eyes because I'm still going back to school and I really want my look to be soft. So the palette that I got for this look is the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Eyeshadow Palette and I really don't want to use two, three colors. I'm just going to be using one shimmery color that is going to go like over my lid and that's it just so it looks really soft. So I need to choose which color, which shimmery color should be on my lid and I think I'm going with, hmm. I'm gonna go with Strawberry Lemonade. It's this really pretty pink shimmery color. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and apply it on, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really shimmery. <laughs> I did not expect that. Wow, this palette is good. So now as I'm done applying one shadow, I'm going to be also applying another lighter color that is also shimmery on the inner corner just to brighten up that inner corner. So I'm going to use probably the main squeeze one. It's this one. It's the lightest shade for the shimmers. That is so pretty. The shimmers are so pretty in this palette. So now as I'm done putting on eyeshadows, I'm gonna be curling my eyelashes and putting on some mascara. And this is the mascara by Maybelline. It's called Lash Sensational. I'm opening the mascara. dots for mascara on your lids, what I like to do is getting the mirror, putting it down, and also looking down whenever I apply, and then just go like this and apply my mascara, and trust me, it's going to do the job, and you won't get those little dots on your lids anymore. And I still managed to get a dot on my lid because it's me! Now I'm done putting on mascara on my top lashes. I don't really put mascara on my bottom lashes just because I don't like when my makeup looks heavy. And now I'm going to wait until this little guy will dry and then I'm going to erase it with a Q-tip. So I would usually stop right here and don't do anything else, only apply some lip balm and just go to school. But I know a lot of people like to fill in their eyebrows, I'm going to show you this product really quick by Revlon, it's the um, Color Stay Brow Pencil. That's what it is. It says that it's waterproof and it stays for 24 hours. So I'm going to open this. What I like about this already is that it has a spoolie and I think it has a pencil that you don't have to sharpen all the time. Oh yep, yeah. just go like this. I'm not going to really fill in my eyebrows just because I don't do it for back to school. So I'm just going to use the spoolie just to brush my eyebrow hair up. And basically that's gonna be it for the so as I said I would usually just put on lip balm and go to school but for today's video of course I'm gonna be using the Maybelline lipstick in born with it it's a really pretty pink color you'll see it's a really soft pink 
I don't usually go for this color, but oh well. I don't think I like this color with this look. It's just too pink, and I don't really like too pink on my lips, so I'm just gonna do that just to get rid of that pinkness. But we still have the shimmer, so that's good. I don't really set my face just because I don't wear my makeup over like 20 hours or 24 hours. I just go to school and come back and just wash my face, get the makeup off, and that's it. But guys, if you do want to use a setting spray, I would recommend getting the Milani Make It Dewy Spray just because I've used it before and I really like it. And it actually stays for longer than 20 hours and it makes your face look dewy, flawless, and just perfect. I also know that there is another setting spray that everyone loves that is also by Milani and it's called the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So if you want to try that out, you can for sure do it. I've never tried it out so I can't really say how it worked on me. I hope you guys all liked watching this video. If you did like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. So this is my second back to school video and I really enjoyed filming it so far. So if you guys have any ideas for back to school videos, make sure you comment guys and let me know. So today's video shout outs go to it's Ella583, Gemma Dana, and Jacqueline. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and remember that I love you so much and can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye!